So before we take a deeper dive into the content today, uh, I just want to kind of share a, a metaphor or a story from my own life. Um, I grew up in a beach community in Southern California. And if you've ever spent any time in beach communities, you've become very familiar with what are called rip currents. And rip currents are these really strange phenomena. Uh, it's a surface current that runs perpendicular to the shore. And typically it goes out about 250 feet to about 2,500 feet from the shore. And when you get caught in one, it feels like you're being pulled under or pulled way out into the middle of the ocean to an untimely death. So there are basically three things that can happen with a rip current. The first is that you can fight it, and the reality is that you're going to lose the battle. The second uh, way of approaching a rip current is to let it carry you all the way out until it finally dissipates. The problem with that is that rip currents go anywhere from about 250 feet to about 2,500 feet offshore. So unless you're an incredibly strong swimmer, the likelihood that you can swim back a half mile to shore when you're already exhausted is kind of unlikely. Anybody know the third option that you have with rip currents? So the third option, and the only way you're actually going to survive one without having to let it carry you all the way out, is to swim parallel to the shore. Because the crazy thing about rip currents is that even though it feels like the entire ocean is pulling you out to an untimely death, the reality is that these rip currents are only about 30 feet wide. So if you swim to either side of the rip current, you're going to actually make it to safety. In my coaching practice, one of the things that I hear on a regular basis when I ask people to describe their work experience is some version of, I feel like I'm drowning, or I wish I could come up for air, or my team and I are underwater. What I want to suggest to you today when we dive into this energy project content is that safety is a very short swim away. When we're in that place that we call the survival zone or even the burnout zone, safety is a very short swim to the side. That'll make a little more sense as the day goes on. So that's basically just the idea that I want to kind of begin with as we prepare to take a deeper dive into the day. 